welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English, as you may already have noticed, and today we are going to talk about three different games again, which will be X Young Future, Candy Thief and Warpath. My name is Gerald, and as always I've got a couple of different things with me, but today, because I didn't recharge my Arc Mouse, which just has to be done from time to time, um, we are going to use this mouse instead, so it's just another Bluetooth mouse, you all know about them. Those are more or less meant to be uh, used with a laptop or something, pretty, pretty inexpensive, but does the job as well as everything else. Um, and of course there is a foldable keyboard, which is this one, foldable. And um, this is just a keyboard you can use, uh, which is enabled or which is connected with uh, Bluetooth, of course, as well as the mouse was too. And there would be the Xbox One as well as controller again, but uh, we are not going to show that in this episode because it's not used. And uh, other than that, we are of course using a smartphone, which is a Lumia 50XL. You all know about that already. Um, it's uh, it's Continuum Gaming or Continuum enabled, and of course it has this Moso cover at my place here. So it's a wooden uh, wooden uh, cover. I'm not sure what the name of the, the color here is, but it's a wooden one. And um, we have the USB-C connector at the bottom here. And the USB-C connector at the bottom is connected, of course, with the display dock, which is standing at the side here. The display dock is just more or less a USB-C hub, and that one is connected to the TV. And like that, we can use the smartphone to bring a desktop-like experience that is Continuum um, to the big screen and we can just use it with the mouse and everything and use it like a desktop and that is all what that is all about we are going to do here. Um, if you want to know more about that, please have a look at the corner up there. There are a couple of other videos where I'm going to talk about this whole setup and all the stuff in more depth. Yeah, and then I would say let's start with the first game. The first game is a pretty easy and pretty simple one, but it's a Christmas scene, so I thought, hey, why not? It's close to Christmas time now, or to, to Christmas Eve, better to say, and so let's have a look at that. Um, it's a Mayong game, more or less, and uh, it has some kind of a melancholic feeling or something, I'm not sure. Let's, let's have a look at that. So maybe it's even fitting to uh, to the situation at the moment. Um, so all I will have to do here is I will put in X minus Young in this case. Hopefully it's there, yeah. So there we go, X minus Young, future. And um, yeah, um, most people... No, we don't want to do that at the moment. Um, most people already know what uh, this kind of game is all about. It's all about um, more or less collecting... Um, pairs of the same uh, images and stuff like that and just bring them uh, from the from the uh, screen or from the tabletop in this case. And uh, as you can see those are going to be the ones we are going to collect. And um, other than that there is not much to see here. There is only play, help, um, score list and more games and stuff. And here is a, a small little information to for instance or set up a button for instance to uh, more or less get rid of the uh, music or the sound in this case. And other than that, there is nothing to see here. So let's start with the first one. Um, yeah, and uh, what you can see here is we have a couple of different options to play here. So for instance, uh, these are all the different levels you're going to go through. And there are more if you have a look at that. So if you really like uh, this kind of, of Mayong games, there are 50, at least 50, I'm not sure if it's even longer than that, but let's say 50 different levels in this game. And of course this is a, a game you can really play in between everything. So you just have a couple of seconds or something, just play it. And here we uh, go, this is more or less the game, so it, all you have to do is to collect pairs, just select them. They're going to be vanishing then, and um, there is a timer running out. So just be aware of the timer. Um, in the first couple of, of um, levels, you're not going to have any kind of trouble with that. Um, if you are, for instance, collecting those uh, stones or whatever images here very, very fast, in some situations you're going to get some kind of an um, of an power up let's say, or time's up, let to say, so you are getting more time to play the game if you are very, very good at it. 
which is a little bit unfair if you ask me, but yeah, that's the case here. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to uh, press that one, of course, and yeah, all you really have to do is do that. Um, of course, down below these, there are some which are stacked over each other, um, will, for instance, open up new opportunities for you then. So just try to yeah, do what, uh, what you see here and try to get the ones uh, below free too, so you can solve all the puzzles in a good way. Um, in the end, it's really, really very, very simple to play and very easy to play, but uh, it's just going to waste a little bit of time if you have a lot of them that um, when you are sitting next to the Christmas tree or something. Um, as you can see, the, the Christmas face here, so center, is at the moment not visible. So let's see, that one can be opened here. Okay, that's helpful, then we can do that. Let's see, the next one would, for instance, be that one, but that is not opening, opening up something for us, but the star will do that. Here's the Christmas face. Down below the Christmas face is something we don't see at the moment, so this is not going to help us. Um, there is a bell in this case, let's use that, and we have that part. And as you can see, we are not going to make it, probably, even, which is very, very unfortunate. Of course, we are very close, but no. Okay, so, but you already now see that it's a game, and you just have to play it like this, and try to get all the different things. If you, if you succeed, you are going to get some kind of a, of a score for it, and um, then you're going to play the next level, and that is more or less what this game is all about. I don't think I have to explain much more, so let's go to the next one. The next one is called Candy Thief, and it's not Candy Crush or something, just to let you know. Um, it's very, very different and a little bit funny somehow. I, I'm not even sure what to make out of this game. It's uh, Candy Thieves, Where is My Candy? It's pretty... Yeah, pretty easy to uh, play and, and not much to, to think about in this game. Um, all you have to do is you have to get candy. It's not even, even robbing or, or thieving or something. Um, you're not stealing something from somebody, but uh, it's really just collecting it if nobody is listening or, or watching you. And um, so all you have to do here is you're the cat or the, the fox, I'm not sure, um, as you can see. Maybe a fox, probably a fox. And um, you like candy, of course, and that is all what we are going to do here. So um, let's have a look at the settings for now. Settings are very, very simple. There is only this little icon to get rid of sounds and stuff like that. And other than that, there's nothing to, to click on here. Um, about will just give you information about the creator, of course, and more games is just for other games, of course, and will bring you out of the game again. So let's click on play and let's see what's going on here. Okay, there it starts. And as you can see, this is the whole game. So she is walking um, in front of you and she will, for instance, have a look at you from time to time, and if you are collecting candy at the moment when she's looking at you, then something will happen. So she will slap you and you will lose points. Okay, so let's see. All you have to do now is press the button and hold it as long as you like to till she is tilting her head more or less. And if she doesn't tilt it, just collect it. And if you see she's tilting it, just try not to collect anymore. Um, you're going to grow and grow and grow, which is pretty funny because after a while she wouldn't be able to hit you anymore. But anyway, just try to not get caught by her. Okay, again, candy, 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 candy. And as I mentioned before, that is all that you are going to do here. I'm, I'm not sure what the I have to do with this game or what I think about the game. It's really, really very easily done, done. And as you can see, I, I just collected further on when she looked at me and then you're going to, in general, get a slap on your, your cheek or something and um, you're going to be uh, in the game over state. And that is all that this game is all about. So let's try again. 
it's it's really that simple and that easy, but somehow it's fun, I don't know. Just have a look at her, press the button if she's moving her head, and that will be faster and faster after a while. If she's moving her head, just stand up again, walk behind her, that's fine. And she's losing all the candy anyway, so I'm not sure why we are getting slapped for it or something, but... Um, she is just walking uh, uh, in front of you. As you can see, there's a timer in how long it will uh, run, more or less. So 120 seconds, more or less, at the moment. And just watch her and click on the screen or with your mouse, with a one ma mouse button um, yeah, control in this case, of course. And after a while, as I mentioned before, you're going to, to grow very, very large. As you can see, now we are, we are larger than hers, so I'm not sure why she would be able to hit us or something. Um, which I'm not sure at the moment uh, anyway, because she's losing it. And it doesn't really matter if we are just leaving it behind or if we are collecting it. In the end, it's better to collect it anyway. And as you can see, we are now at a size where we could eat her or something, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that is the game. And it's really, really easy to play and, and there's nothing to really think about or do here. Just watch her, try to get it done. And that is more or less what is happening here. So, be very, very aware of that. Okay. In between, sometimes there's a little a bit of a glitch or something, but that's not really important. It's just about uh, loading in the different, different information here, so... Um, in some situations you're not going to see it, in some situations you may see it, it doesn't really matter. 15 seconds left on the uh, clock here. 10 seconds. Let's see if we are going once more. Here's of course your, uh, your score as you can see and your as you are collecting each and every of them is giving you 20 points and that is all that is there is. So after a while it's going to be over. You played everything, you got all the candy you wanted and that is more or less what's happening. I'm not sure what to make out of this game. It's really really easy, really really simple to play, somehow funny, I'm not sure why. And um, just try it out if you want to, and if not, just leave it behind. Okay, so let's play something more serious, which is Warpath. Warpath is a fly scroller or something you want, like that, if you want to call it that. Um, it's 3D, kind of, it's, it's top level 3D, of course. And um, you're going to play uh, more or less one of the warplanes and you are going to fly against other planes there and trying to kill them. Um, it's pretty hard to play. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to use your finger or your mouse uh, to control the ship. So it's shooting all the time. But um, what is going to happen there is you're going to try to uh, move it around on the screen and try to kill different enemies, of course. So um, for that I'm going to turn around because it's a little bit hard to play it in this way. And um, other than that, this is really a nice game. I really like it. It might be even more like it or more fun if you are playing it on your smartphone itself because um, I think the, the mode where you are going to see uh, the portrait mode more or less of smartphone that might be better than landscape, but we, we will have a look at it anyway. Sorry. So, um, all you are going to need for this game is of course your mouse in this case. So Warpath, there we go. I'm just starting it and um, in the end you are going to have a pretty... yeah, some, some kind of a serious um, theme here, but not really. So you're not going to see something that you really, really recognize or something, but it's a serious sci-fi theme or any anything in that direction. It's very interesting to navigate through. So as you can see here, we've got a very interesting interface. So this is a level you're going to play. Here you can, for instance, set up different things, like the quality settings. Um, 
you can play every quality setting with your smartphone without a problem in general, but um, if you are not going to have that go to the lower one, in the end it's sometimes a little bit... Uh, so the, the different quality settings are very very different. So uh, if you for instance play the high one, you are going to have some kind of reflections on the water and stuff like that. And that's going to change the game and the spirit and the, and the optics and maybe even the gameplay pretty pretty rapidly so um or pretty pretty massively more or less so please have a look at that try to to switch them um i may show you the different settings anyway um at least high and medium for instance and um, we're going to try that maybe but uh, let's see what's going on here uh, other than that of course you can switch on sound and you can switch off and on music and this is more or less what all of this is about we are going to play it at high for the first time um, this one can be pressed, and here you can see different control informations, um, just to let you know how to control it. Um, as you can see, there are going to be different um, different um, cars and, and flying objects and, and stuff like that. And um, so let's go back and just select one and next. As you can see, there, there is more or less an update screen, so if you have enough money, for instance, you can go to this and upgrade your, uh, your different vehicles here and try to um, play them in a different way. As you can see, here is, for instance, another, um, another thingy, another flying object, whatever, and that you can, uh, for instance, buy for 5,000 of the stars. At the moment, I have an, a zero because I never got the first level, but it's playable, you can do it, but um, it's somehow sometimes a little bit hardcore to play. As you can see, this is going to be your first um, flyer, more or less, you can see it here. And um, yeah, now just for the different quality settings, just have a look at this object, uh, this level of, of details and stuff like that. So there are all these different reflections and we're flying over water in, in the end, so um, if we, I'm pressing that, you can see that. Music is pretty cool here. Um, one thing is that the height of the screen is pretty pretty low and it's going to be a pretty fast game so you really have to be very very fast to play this game in this case. And um, I'm only going to, to get through the first couple of things here um, because I'm going I already know where all the things are, so it's it's pretty hard to play, especially with the reflections on, if you ask me. Good thing is, most of the enemies are going to die from one shot, not all of them, for instance the, the ship here is not, and that one is not neither. So in some situations you just have to... Um, yeah, just have to, to get out of the way. It's just not going to happen that you're going to kill everything in this game. You really have to notice that and, and think about that. Um, if you're trying to kill everything, you're going to die all the time. It's just like that in this game. It's not very important that all the different ships are going to be there and going to th uh, go through and stuff like that. Just not, try not to, to hit one of them, because otherwise you're going to die in an instant. And even a little bit more annoying, the other flyer will not die neither. Um, if you have a look at the upper upper left corner there, um, there is some information about your health. Um, the health of you is 100, of course, it's a start. Um, I never died from the health itself for my, myself. I'm always dying from hitting another uh, object, whatever it is. And as I mentioned before, you might have to just learn a little bit about where the different um, enemies are going to be after a while. That again, as you can see, it's, it's pretty hard to play. Um, I still think it's very, very nice to play, so. Um, okay, one last try, and after that, I'm going to try to, to switch over to the other game mode or the other quality mode, just to show you what the game looks like then because I really, really find it very, very hard to play it with this kind of stuff going on, because everything is moving at the moment. Because of the reflections and the different waves which are going to be simulated here, it's very, very hard for me to see what's going on here. If you are playing it with 
the medium setting, for instance, it's much, much more playable, but a little bit more dull, of course, too. Um, you are going to have to collect different power-ups. Right again. Okay, so let's go to the menu and let's switch up the different settings, just to show you that that is the same. So I'm going to go to medium, go back, and now we are not going to see any kind of reflection. So it's much more dull, as mentioned before but it's much more playable. So as you can see, we just have the waves underneath now, and that is better, if you ask me. Um, of course, it's not looking that beautiful anymore, but, but in the end, for the gameplay itself, I would really turn to medium, at least, and play it like that. It's pretty much the same kind of fun anyway, but without all the different things that are going on, and which are just a little bit overkill for me. I'm not sure why exactly, but as you can see now you can really see that uh, that uh, different people or the different enemies are fighting you and, and um, shooting at you and stuff like that and in general I'm um, more likely to live a little bit longer, not much longer at least, but a little bit. That one is more or less not killable without updates, so just don't get involved more or less and died because I, I have hit him. But as you can see, this is much more doable now. And um, let's try it again. I don't think you have to switch to, to the lowest mode. We can try that later on. But uh, I don't think you have to do that. As you can see, it's a 3D graphic. Um, yeah, pretty nice one, actually. I really, really like the game. And as mentioned before, it might be... Um, it might be better to play this on the smartphone. Oh, come on. Um, it might be better to, to play this on a smartphone. Let's switch to low, just to, to have a look what that is looking like. But um, in, in uh, the mo uh, portrait mode, that might be easier to play this game, but I'm not sure about that. Let's have a look at the low one and see what that is all about. So low doesn't work for me, like it see, like it look. Yeah, I think then we can just stay with medium. That's fine, and just play it like that. And um, I'm going to try it one or two times again, just to show you the game itself and uh, how it is played. I really like the game. It's it's one of those um, very very nicely playable ones. Don't use low. Seems not to be uh, able to do that for my smartphone. Don't know why I can play high but not low, but whatever. And there we go. Touch to start. This is something you can't even read that in high level or high quality mode. So really, really just do that. And the, the fighter here is going to follow you around, so just hit your mouse and keep it pressed and then just move your mouse around or your finger, it would be the same with the finger, you're just going to press on the, um, on the, you can kill that one if you want to, yes. Um, you really have to just press on the screen for that and try it. Be very, very careful because some of the of the fighters are going to come from behind, for instance. I'm not even sure. The the, fa the farthest I really played this game, so the, so the longest I really lived this, um, I died probably from those guys. I'm not sure about it. Uh, died again. But um, yeah, this is more or less a game. I hope you like it. I think it's a fine game. You just have to, to learn it a little bit and get into it a little bit. You can see there are a couple of different power-ups too, so life are power-ups, there's a speed power-up, there's enemy vehicles we, got, we killed of course, and we got a couple of stars we just collected. So, as you can see, um, collecting the stars is really, really going to help you later on, if you are surviving the, the level of course, if you're not, you're not going and gaining any kind of stars in this game. And um, that's a little bit of a pity, because um, I think it's very, very hard to even survive the, le the first level, but try it out. It might be possible. And um, then you can, for instance, go to the screen to interact with the 
interesting that you are going to play different kind of stuff here too, but um, let's go back and after that you are going to be able to go to this screen and hit this button to increase any kind of, of um, yeah, weaponry and stuff like that you are going to have here. And of course you might want to, uh, to try that and get for instance a 1500 um, points here to go there. That should be possible with the first level alone, so in the second level you are going to be able to to use all of this stuff because uh, even when I died in the first level before uh, I got something like 1300 to 1350 points or something and um, the level is not over now so um, yeah I think you, you should be able to buy that then and this is more or less the game try it out I really like it and um, yeah I hope you have fun with it okay and yeah other than that there is not much to say again, um, just give them a Wii or thumbs up if you liked it, uh, if you for instance want to, to ask something or put uh, something into the commentary section, just do that. Um, if you didn't subscribe to now, please do that now. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, um, have a great holiday season, whatever you are going to celebrate. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, we are going to see us after Christmas then, and yeah. So, have fun, bye-bye, and thanks for watching. Bye!